ATS Microflow is a low pressure airflow testing instrument. It is used as a comparative tool for comparing components to a known size. Typical components would be uh, those with a hole from 0.1 millimeters to 4 millimeters in diameter. But of course they must be a through hole because the air must go through and then back out of the other side. In other words, we detect back pressure. So as, a, as the air blows through the orifice, the system will then measure the restriction, in other words the back pressure, and then give the absolute size. Of course, when you place a component on there, it is very stable. Typical components would be aerosol caps and valves and housings, uh, gas jets from within the gas industry, the automotive industry with fuel injectors or carburetor jets, actuators, veterinary dispensers, spray um, adjusters, and also nasal sprays. Anything with a small hole that um, up to four millimeters in diameter can be measured by simply blowing low pressure air through it. And this system has been adopted for something like 30 years now as the industrial standard for flow testing, but comparative testing. It does not give an absolute flow, it gives a comparative flow. And we have a scale from zero to 500 units. It is compatible with previous uh, QGS Microflow QX2100 instruments. It is also compatible with the Solex range of equipment, formerly known as the DB uh, testers. The instrument itself has an LED display which changes from red, green or amber, depending on whether it is pass or fail. And it also has built-in calibration. And the calibration is done by taking these two high or low orifice sizes here and the procedure is started by simply pressing the cal button for four seconds and after that's been pressed for four seconds it then requests that you apply the 100 master which in this case is the upper one then press cal remove it it is now requesting on the screen on the LCD display for the 400 you place that on there press cal finished Calibration is now complete. It doesn't get much simpler than that for use in the industrial environment. The instrument also has other menu functions such as setting the upper and lower limits. And when these are set, then the green and red band will change accordingly. But you can also make use of the tri-coloured uh, benefits in going red, green or amber, in which case amber would be a caution limit like a warning limit that you're getting close to maybe being oversized or undersized. The instrument is also used in automatic conditions as well as manual. There is a control port on the rear for the connection to a PLC and also an RS-23 output. The instrument is set to 20 psi inlet pressure, which means with a constant pressure device in here, it retains a very precise air outlet.